This video is brought to you by Sailrite. In this video, we'll be showing you how to bed some deck hardware using the butyl tape from Sailrite. Brian, a shipping manager at Sailrite, is installing a bimini frame on his boat. He's going to use the butyl tape as a bedding compound for the deck hardware. Brian's using a drill bit here that's a little bit smaller than the screw that he's going to be inserting, and he's going to drill all the way through the fiberglass. Now we'll take out that smaller drill bit and insert a little bit larger one so that we can create a cavity for the butyl tape to sink down into. By feathering the edge of the fiberglass with a countersink hole, you could prevent crazing or cracking of the fiberglass. We'll now cut or pull off a section of the uh, trimmable butyl tape screw in first. and yep. apply it to the bottom side of the screw that's already been inserted into the deck hardware. This is a deck mount fitting and all we're doing is creating a little bead of the butyl tape at the base of this fitting around the screw. And we'll do that same procedure to the opposite screw. The butyl tape increases in adhesion with age after it's applied. It's an excellent adhesion and it basically is a watertight and airtight seal. The butyl tape from Sarite makes, makes an excellent uh, compound for bedding of any kind of hardware, including snaps, awning tracks, obviously as you see here, bimini fittings, dodger fittings, stanchions, anywhere on the deck that you need a watertight seal. Butyl tape's not just for the marine environment, it can be used around your home, around windows, under moldings, doors and vents, and much more. As Brian tightens the screw here to secure this uh, deck mount on the boat, you'll notice the butyl tape is expanding and it's being pressed out from underneath this fitting. It'll fill that cavity that we created and create a watertight seal. Recommended temperature for applications is between 30 degrees Fahrenheit and 200 degrees Fahrenheit. For best results, apply at room temperature. If it's too cold, you can use a hair dryer to warm it up, which will actually make it possible to use it in colder climates. If you've ever used another compound like a silicone or a 5200 as a bedding uh, sealant, it is very difficult to clean those applications up. Notice how easy it is to clean up butyl tape. Just use a wad of butyl tape and dab up the excess butyl. The cleanup of a silicone will always leave a residue which will attract dirt. The cleanup of butyl tape will leave no residue for dirt to get stuck in. This deck mount fitting is now bedded appropriately and Brian can now concentrate on installing the rest of his bimini frame. The next portion of this video will show how to remove any deck hardware that has been bedded with the butyl tape. Stand by for that. Now seven days ago, Brian installed this deck fitting on the opposite side, but you'll notice the screw is actually screwed in from the cockpit. He wants to reverse it around. So let's take a look at the butyl tape when you remove this deck fitting from the deck. As I said earlier in the video, the butyl tape increases in adhesion with age after it's applied. You'll notice that when we remove this deck fitting from the deck, it is very sticky. Now, the butyl that was used for this application was actually just applied straight across the bottom, not around the base of the screw. So we did actually apply the butyl tape uh, with a full strip on the bottom side of it. But look how sticky it is. This is the beauty of butyl tape, and it'll be that way for years to come. What does that mean? That means it's easy to remove deck hardware even after years of application. 
Not so with other applications like 5200, very difficult to remove and will typically damage the deck. The butyl tape will stay sticky like this and it's also easy to remove no matter how many years it's been mounted. Brian's showing an alternative method to using the butyl tape. He's just going to use a strip on the bottom side of this uh, deck fitting. It can be done this way as well. We just wanted to show an alternative method to using the butyl tape rather than just wrapping it around the base of the screw. Now it'll squeeze out, and then once it's squeezed out all the way, you'll just dab up the excess with another wad of the butyl tape. It's your loyal patronage to Sarah that makes these free videos available. Thanks for your support.